St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Anne Robinson from Newmarket, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the secret petitions of the heart. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we ask the Lord to open our eyes to the ways we reject God and to give us the true gift of repentance. Lord Jesus, you died to set us free. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you rose from the dead. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have brought us salvation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, you always work to save us, and now we rejoice in the great love you give to your chosen people. Protect all who are about to become your children, and continue to bless those who are already baptized. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the people, thus says the Lord God, I will take the people of Israel from the nations among which they have gone and will gather them from every quarter and bring them to their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king over them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. They shall never again defile themselves with their idols, and their detestable things or with any of their transgressions. I will save them from all the apostasies into which they have fallen and will cleanse them. Then they shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David shall be king over them and they shall all have one shepherd. They shall follow my ordinances and be careful to observe my statutes. They shall live in the land that I give to my servant Jacob, in which your ancestors lived, they and their children and their children's children shall live there forever, and my servant David shall be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will bless them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary among them forevermore. My dwelling place shall be with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Then the nations shall know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel when my sanctuary is among them forevermore. The word of the Lord. like a shepherd guarding his flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him, 
and will keep him as a shepherd a flock. The Lord will guard us like a shepherd guarding his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. The Lord will God. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. The Lord will Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. Rid yourselves of all your sins and make a new heart and a new spirit. Praise to The Lord be with you. And also A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer walked about openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with the disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and men went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, what do you think? think? Surely, he will not come to the festival, will he? And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise 